For my particular hair texture, I like to create about three to four sections because it makes it a little bit more manageable for my specific hair type and length. And I also love using the Eco Styler Moroccan Argan Oil Styling Gel, but because my hair is a little unruly at times, I have to go in with a second type of gel and I'm using the Ebony New York 24 hour edge tamer. This is life, but it alone won't do it. So I go in with the got to be ultra glued. I like to use this specifically at the front of my hairline. It has really good hold and it just lays my edges the best. And as you guys can see for this particular section, I didn't twist the end. I just like put it in a bun and you guys will see why. But I'm just taking the end of the previous section, that twist and integrating it into that bun. And here I'm just making sure that I'm really laying it down. You don't have to focus on the very front of your head, but rather the sides. And of course I'm using a little bit of oil. This is a wild hair growth oil, just so it softens the hold. I don't want it to be like super crunchy and hard. And so I'm going to wrap my hair, make sure to wrap the bulk of your head so everything is laid. And I'm gonna do this twice and allow it to set for about 15 to 30 minutes. And I'm using the Free Tress Ringlet Wand Curl in the color 99J. I love this color, it's so much more wearable, but it has that pop of color and a beautiful curl pattern. And so at the back of my head, you guys can see that I'm gonna be inserting my latch hook all the way down to the scalp. You really wanna make sure that you detangle. You don't wanna you know, increase the you know, chances of breakage. So definitely make sure you detangle each section of your hair. And doing this as a breeze, I only knot the hair twice. You guys can see it's super easy. And this is so perfect for anyone who is afraid of you know, braids. There are no braids whatsoever. But I did want to say that at certain points, I'm going to use long full length pieces and I'm also going to cut the hair in half. Now, as I move towards the widest portion of my head or that second section, I'm going to start using smaller, shorter pieces of hair that I've cut in half because that's going to give me more volume. It's going to create a fuller look. But the reason why I'm using two lengths is because I want to have a layered look throughout, but I also want it to appear very full. So I like to crochet alongside the twist as well as right through the actual twist itself. Going through the base of the twist, because it's so wide for my hair texture, it may cause the loop to unravel, so be careful. And when I get to the front where I created that bun, I'm literally just going to crochet the entire perimeter or surface of the bun because I don't want my natural hair to show so much. But that bun is gonna give me a lot of volume at the top. So I'm kind of giving the illusion of more volume. And once you fill the bun up, you wanna pull the hair back so you can see how full it looks and then begin working on the very front. I use short pieces in this section along with longer pieces. I really wanted it to just have a nice layered look throughout. So I'm just spraying the hair with water, just removing all of the shed hair. And I'm using this scalp soother by Lux Therapy to just fluff it and pick it out and give it more volume. I'm even using this comb piece from my blow dryer. I could not find my shampoo comb. I like to move the hair to one side and pick it. And then I'm just trimming the hair, a little bit of layers. This is so easy, even if you're someone who's a little bit afraid of trimming the hair. This curl pattern, it makes me feel very comfortable and it's like gorgeous. You guys know I have made my signature wig with this hair texture. It's so gorgeous and it's just beautiful for crochet and I love the color. And when I'm placing the bobby pins, I like to move the hair to the opposite side and then lay the bobby pin in place. 
and you want to kind of move the bobby pin towards the midpoint or like upward not too close to the base of the knots because i really want it to like pop and be very voluminous and again i'm just going in to pick out and fluff those curls and I'm giving it a final trim and this is how it looks i hope you guys enjoy this is super easy anyone could do this be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up comment below check out my crochet braid playlist for more inspiration and i will see you in the next one